Two days are changing the lives of people who are looking to make their mark in the world of acting. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the Screen Artist Co-op in Asheville. And Victoria, that's actually where they are building dreams. Absolutely. This is an amazing place that is open for people who really have never tried their hand at acting or who maybe want to hone their skills. And I'm actually talking to the founder, John Menick, and you actually came up with the Screen Artist Co-op to really fill a growing need. Um, and in fact, tonight there's an open house to help do that. Tell us about SAC. Well, I spent most of my career in Los Angeles as a bald actor, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, it's you. It's me. I'm the, I'm the, all the bald roles went to me. And um, I, I decided to come to Western North Carolina to get behind the camera and to do films that I thought would have more, uh, were more ecologically based. Well, let's take a look at some of the things you do here at SAC while we talk a little bit more about what happens here. You've got some great uh, examples of the lessons and the classes right. and so on, but build off of what you were saying. Well, what I noticed here was that there was a growing uh, infrastructure, especially with the incentives of jobs being done in this region for major television and film. But Western North Carolina had no actors involved. It, not only was it difficult to get to auditions, but there was no trained talent pool. So I had the idea that I would start a, a co-op that would take our actors in this region from cradle to grave, and my grave being good work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, uh, the idea being that it's a full service where they, where they, where they learn, mm -hmm. where we support them, and where we have even a talent agency to be able to represent them through their process in the burgeoning film industry that is in the southeast region. And it really is growing. He says burgeoning. This thing is on high speed warp factor 10. There's so much going on. In fact, in our next half hour, we're going to talk about how broad the opportunities are opening up for actors and actresses. And you can come out tonight at 6 o'clock right here at SAC. This is in Riverside Drive. We've got all the details at a link at newslink at WLOS.com. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to drop some names. You might recognize a few of the folks who've uh, spent some time right here at SAC. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. An industry spending $6.7 billion in North Carolina and Georgia last year is starving for new talent. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the local resource that is meeting that need. And Vic, this is a type of casting call. Well, sort of, yeah. Actually, this is an incredible opportunity. Tonight, there will be an open house here at SAC, which is the Screen Artist Co-op here in Asheville. And I'm actually sitting between two of the artists who are part of this team. I have Lindsay Aliff here. And keep a close look at his face. I'll tell you why in a second. And then Emily Shawls. Isn't she lovely? She's over here. And you both are part of SAC. Um, what is it that makes this particular opportunity so important? I mean, there's a lot of demand for it regional actors now, right? There is, and I didn't realize that when I moved here, and to have this entire world open up where you can come in and not only learn a craft, but then be able to go and put it to use and get paid for it and make a career out of it, it, it was a dream for me. Now, Lindsay, speaking of putting it to use and making a career out of it, I believe we're about to see your face someplace uh, on one of our favorite shows, right? Next week, uh, the season opener on Nashville. I get to play the judge. You're the judge. Right. Okay, so how did I can't SAC... can't tell you anything. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, how did SAC get you ready to be the person who tells us about the next, but you're not going to tell me that part, but what's the secret of being part of a group like this? Well, I met with John on the last open house, so I really encourage people who have a dream to be an actor and want to work in this area to come to this open house tonight, because I met John in January, and he said, what do you want to do? And I said, I need to get, I've been an actor for years, I mm -hmm. do voiceovers, I said, I need to get uncorked. I just feel blocked. I really want to get better at this. Well, they are going to get better at this. And in fact, in our next half hour, we're going to show you one of the techniques they use to help you get better at that little bit of talent that can go so far. Uh, all the details about the open house at 6 o'clock tonight at our website on Newslinks, WLOS.com. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. North Carolina and neighboring states are seeing their stakes in the entertainment world soar. Studios, big and small, are pouring billions into their economy. And News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live with the other resource they desperately need. Good morning, Vic.
Good morning. You know, they are in desperate need of actors to fill the roles that are being shot and filmed here in our own backyard. I'm here at the Screen Artists Co-op in Asheville, and it's a unique place. I actually am working right now with Erin Kinney, and you remember Lindsay Ayla from our last segment. They're doing something that we know as streaming, but our streaming definition, nothing like this. Um, can I interrupt for just a second here? Tell me what you're doing while you're doing this, because they're focused. I'm sorry to break your thought. Uh, we are looking in each other's left eyes and relaxing our gaze so that we can see everything in the room from the psych over on the left hand side to the lights on the right. John, you, the microphone, the red hair, the ceiling, everything that we can see. But I'm looking right at her eyes, but I've relaxed my gaze out to take in the entire room. Aaron, what does this allow you to do when you're trying to get yourself into the moment? <sighs> Basically, what it what it does is allows me to completely relax and and to focus. Um, there's a breathing technique that we do before that helps me relax. But basically, what it what it does is it helps me to get focused and out of my cognitive mind. It helps me to be present and just to focus on what is around me right here in this moment. Turn everything off and be in the moment. Exactly. Is that something you picked up through the SAC program? Yes, it is. It's a process that John Minnick teaches here. Um, it's basically getting out of the cognitive mind and getting through any blocks that uh, blocks your self-expression. We call it outrunning the devil. The cognitive <laughs> mind is the left side, and if the cognitive mind is going, how do I look, how do I act, what's my next line, where's this, where's that, then you look like a two-dimensional actor on the set, and you want to get rid of that cognitive part of your brain. And you want to bring outrun. the full person to the role and the character. That's just one of the lessons you'll get when you get to be part of the SAC group here. You want to find out more about it? You're in luck. Tonight there's an open house. It starts at 6 o'clock right here at SAC. It's on Riverside Drive. We've got the link to all the information for you at newslinks at WLOS.com. Coming up in our next half hour, it's my turn to audition. We'll see how it goes. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Well, the mountains are full of raw talent, and the growing film industry wants to tap into that. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the Screen Artists Co-op. And Victoria, this is the place where local talent learns how to shine. That's exactly it. It's kind of like a dream factory in here. And all morning long we've been talking about what it takes to, you know, get your big break. And now it's my turn. This is an actual audition I'm going to do. Emily Sauls is helping me out again. So we're going to read the scene, right? Yep. And this is how it would be normally. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um... What kind of eggnog is this? Strong. Not really what I meant. Oh, okay. It's free range and pasteurized. Free range. Uh, is that safe? <laughs> Trust me, at this point, it's sterile. Ah. Oh, sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to have you home, Big Sis. It's good to be back too, Sal. <clears throat> uh, that'll be a big cut on that one. Uh, Okay, I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. John Menick coming in to give me the coaching that he offers here, right? I, I, I do, and this is the one for you. If, okay. The bad news is that you did not get the role. Good news is, either did Julie. <gasps> Sorry, Julie. <laughs> but this is some of the stuff that happens day in and day out. And can I just say that um, some of the folks here, Lindsay, who was on a minute ago, mm -hmm. he just landed another big role by doing some of these yeah. auditions, right? Dumb and Dumber 2. Dumb and Dumber 2. Local talent being doing, That's right. bringing this out. What? How long does it take? How long would I have to be here honing my skill? Well, uh, normally within a year you can go from uh, being either someone with just a dream or with theater background to being agented and having a uh, appearing on uh, movies and television in the region and uh, with the dream of perhaps someday going to Los Angeles uh, when you get big enough roles. That's amazing and these roles are coming here because there is a huge growth in fact 15 studios being built in the region right now and that means they have shows they need to cast and the talent can be you know grown right here in our own backyard. By the way this is the sign you want to look for tonight when you come out to the SAC open house at 6 o'clock tonight, 6 to 9. There will be an agent here talking about what they're looking for. And by the way, the word is they're starving for fresh faces. Get all the details at WLOS.com. Click on news links. And who knows, maybe with a little more practice, maybe a lot more practice, I might get my big break too. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.